441. It's time to get up and get cracking. Rise and shine, you beautiful people. She looks like she has a good night. I have a shit night. So when she's like this, no make sure you always have coffee. Just throw coffee yeah. everywhere. <laughs> How's your food? The food is great. The judge started with CF. This was I like, used to be called the alcoholic. These cheat meals were a bottle, a bottle of vodka. Of vodka. <laughs> yalla, toddy, yalla, you have to pick it up on the f***ing run. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm feeling pretty good. Go, let's go, let's go. If we look at last week, it wasn't for me the best week because of the injury. I've definitely learned patience and helping an injury heal by giving it time. So I have actually rested and I haven't trained since Tuesday and it's already Sunday. So that's a long, long time without training. So that doesn't mean I'm gonna throw myself right back into training. I'm gonna run very slowly and then I'll gradually build it up until I can, I feel like I'm strong enough and then I'll go back to class. But it's a good start to week two and I'm really, really happy. Like I've named the GoPro Hero because it is called Hero, that's his name. Because it's helping me to be really strict. You feel like somebody's watching you. Oh my God, just stay still. I'm really happy, like I haven't up once even i went out for lunch with my friends on friday and i didn't up i didn't have any shisha i didn't have any coke i didn't have anything bad i ordered sparkling freaking water how cool is that it's becoming natural now you know what do you want to drink oh i'll have a sparkling water face up to such an amazing class 21 challengers at 6 a.m that is just amazing hello ladies who wants some coffee so breakfast is served, bags, two toast, spinach, avocado half, and then hard shaped strawberry. Bon appetit. Irish, why do we eat oats for breakfast? Uh, we eat for good for diet. I'm gonna teach Irish how to squat. Knees right angle, arms up, and then bow. Now she has sexy ass. Really good. Impressive. Okay, really, really quick lunch today. So we have chicken salad, chicken, lettuce, tomato, and then I've got a bread roll, which I'm gonna like stuff some shit in there. Honestly, the best lunch I've had, like, ever. Belly's full, now time to do some work. See you later. Say bye, Irish. Bye. Very, very stressful day. Too much shit happening at once. Like, I got an order for one and a half thousand pieces of macaroon, and it's like, oh, we need it for Wednesday. Oh, okay, yeah, no problem. You know, and you don't want to say no to people because obviously it's a it's a brand new business. We smile, we say yes, we push through. At the moment, I'm the staff I have downstairs. They're not mine. They don't work for me. I'm training them. Amazing people. Their attitude and their energy with life is fantastic. And it makes you realise how lucky you are to have what you have and to have what you've got. It's the little things that make you smile. Like the other day, one of the chefs came to me. Speaks hardly any English at all. And uh, he came up to me. He grabbed my jacket and he went, "Oh, skinny chef." I was like. What? The Filipino girls had taught him what skinny meant. And he was trying to tell me that he was happy that I was losing weight, but he didn't know how to say it in English. And as much as it's stressful, because they don't speak English, a lot of them, and they have no idea about basic pastry, basic hasa. When the days when they get it right, it's so worth it. Like, so, so worth it. Because I work dumb hours, um, I really struggle to, to buy stuff and then keep it alive. I buy lettuce, and then within three days, I haven't eaten it, it's dead. What I've been doing recently, which is actually working quite well for me, I cook loads of meals and put them in the freezer. Chicken with tomato sauce and stuff, and I put it in the in the slow cooker, I left it all day, and then portioned it into little containers and then put it in the freezer. So if ever I come home from work and I need food, like I can whack it in the microwave, the old Mickey Dave, and, uh, and I have food ready to eat. I've never felt happier with my body. I've never felt stronger. So why do I want to go back to eating all of that crap and be really unhappy again? I don't. And sometimes I treat myself like this. This is a Thailand tender coconut. I absolutely adore these. Now I used to, I first drank these um, when I first found out they were really nice was when I had them with Malibu in. And I love Malibu, but it's, it's not part of the Holy Grail, unfortunately. So I can't drink these with Malibu in. So I just drink these on their own. Look at the beauty! The big doctor is here. We haven't seen you for a month now. For three months actually. Three months? Yes, because Why? my mom was here and I was keeping her. But your husband is smashing it in the weights. He doesn't like my mom. Time for the... Breakfast exercises. exercises. With my new phone as a timer. So we are gonna start with a... Plank. Plank, for how long? One minute. And then one minute off? Punches. You have something running down oh. your face. Let's see what Arabic's singing. 
ಸಂರವಾನಲ ಹಾಸುದೆ day is done at work I really want to see if I can run again so good Breakfast exercise is done. I'm f***ing pissed that I can't run. I don't know why I can't run, but it just didn't work. Dinner for tonight. We have grilled chicken, cubes with pepper, avocado dip, half an avocado, and some lettuce. I'm feeling pretty pissed off at myself because I thought I was ready to train again, and I wasn't. And... Now it hurts. It's going to be probably another four or five days. And I'm mad because I have nobody to blame, only myself. And it's it's annoying, if I'm honest. Because it's it's the challenge and I'm doing the vernals. But now I just feel like I've just let people down. I'm so, so mad with myself. <sighs> Tomorrow's a new day, so I'm not going to do the breakfast exercises anymore because until it's healed. So I'm going for a 20 minute walk in the heat in the morning when I wake up and we'll see how that is in the morning. Anyway, I'm going to bed. Good night. What's your goal for this week? Yalla, yalla. Okay, baby, can I just speak about it in a second because I'm really busy now. <coughs> Burping maybe a bit more. <laughs> Samrawan al-Hasudeh